The James Webb Telescope has detected a series of mysterious structures that show that our previous assumptions about cosmic evolution were wrong. In fact, Webb's discoveries are so blatantly at odds with our established ideas that, strictly speaking, they shouldn't even exist. As a result, the standard model of cosmology is coming under increasing criticism, and more and more experts are questioning whether the cosmos really could have been created in the much-cited Big Bang. But what exactly did Webb discover in the depths of space? And if the universe did not begin with the Big Bang after all, how was it born? Be sure to stay tuned until the end and join us as we get to the bottom of these exciting questions. To start with, we should first clarify a very general question. What is actually at the edge of the universe and how is it structured? Well, the insightful answer to this question is, we have no idea. But that's not really surprising when we remember that we don't even know if something like a cosmic edge exists at all. Despite all the space flights, probes, and high-tech telescopes, the totality and exact shape of the cosmos still represent the great unknown. The Big Bang Theory basically suggests that the universe is spherical in shape, but this is just one of many assumptions. When it comes to the question of shape, other geometric objects are also consulted including the donut-shaped torus and even a trumpet. But how, and this is the perfectly legitimate question, can an infinite construct be squeezed into a higher level form? Well, although the words universe and infinity are all too often mentioned in the same breath, the bottom line is that we do not know whether this idea really corresponds to reality. However, it's important to bear in mind the difference between infinity and unlimited. The basic principle is that even if the volume of the universe is finite, it could still be boundless. But isn't that a contradiction in terms? Well, not necessarily. And to illustrate this, experts often refer to the example of an ant placed on the outside of a balloon. In fact, the little crawling creature could run in any direction for as long as it wanted without ever encountering a defined edge. To the insect, it would seem as if it were moving on an infinitely large structure, even if this is obviously not the case with a balloon. However, it should be noted that this is only a highly simplified illustrative example. Unlike a balloon, the universe is not embedded in a higher dimensional space according to classical cosmology. The Edge of Our Universe And yet, despite all the unanswered questions, it is reasonable to assume that the universe does indeed have an edge, or at least that this is true of our universe. Based on the cosmological principle, which states that the universe always appears the same to the observer, regardless of their position and direction of observation, there is a spherical space around the Earth that limits our view of the stars. And since the Big Bang occurred around 13.8 billion years ago, one might think that the distance to our cosmic horizon is also 13.8 billion light years, but that is not true. We must not forget that the cosmos is by no means a rigid, unchanging structure, but a construct that has been expanding since time immemorial. However, the universe is not growing into an already existing space. Rather, it is space itself that is constantly expanding. This cosmic expansion means that distances already traveled have been extended retrospectively, and that the distance to the observation horizon is ultimately not 13.8, but 46.6 .6 billion light years. The distant objects and structures that today mark the boundaries of the observable universe were only 40 million light years away from us when they were formed. However, since they crossed the event horizon some time ago, it's impossible to say what processes are currently taking place there. All we are left with is a cosmic view into the past, However, the question of what actually lurks beyond the observable universe is no less certain. Some researchers suspect that the areas invisible to us are structured in much the same way as those we know, but others believe it is possible that structures beyond our astronomical imagination lie dormant there. The Impossible Discoveries of the James Webb Telescope The present and future of modern space exploration go by the name of Webb. Launched in the vast expanses of space on December 25, 2021, the James Webb Telescope is up to 100 times more sensitive to electromagnetic waves than its predecessor Hubble, and would even be able to detect the heat of a bumblebee on the surface of the moon from Earth. But of course, 
The $10 billion device is not actually dedicated to searching for fluffy insects. Its main task is to explore the first luminous structures and galaxies that formed after the Big Bang and the subsequent Dark Age. And so far, Webb has lived up to its high expectations with flying colors. The first images released in July 2022 left the global public completely overwhelmed. While the images achieved a level of detail never before seen and revealed areas that were still invisible to Hubble and company, Webb was also able to add the oldest known galaxies ever to the star maps. Some of these galactic premature babies already existed 290 million years after the Big Bang. And yet, these remarkable finds are only one side of the Webb coin. The whole truth is that Webb has found objects that no astronomer could ever have expected to find, for the simple reason that their existence was considered impossible. But it all started so inconspicuously, more precisely, with six simple points of light, which subsequently earned themselves the inglorious nickname Universe Breakers and paved the way for the greatest cosmological crisis of our time. But why is that? Well, in order to uncover new details in Webb's first near-infrared images, a team from Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne took another look at the relevant data sets. While analyzing the section of the sky near the Big Dipper, the experts noticed an unusual detail. Six reddish shimmering objects whose age was estimated at over 13 billion years based on their redshift. In other words, these ominous light sources already existed 500 to 700 million years after the birth of the universe. Further investigations reveal that the points exhibit characteristics typical of very early galaxies, and that they have a huge problem. Or should we say a massive problem? The researchers had only expected to find dwarf galaxies at this early stage of the cosmos, but in reality, the structures were already as massive and advanced as our Milky Way is today. But how is that even possible? How can galaxies already weigh more than 10, and in one case even more than 100 billion solar masses of stars, when the necessary matter did not even exist yet? Faced with this apparent contradiction, the scientists initially suspected that they must have made a serious mistake. But no. Repeated data analyses clearly showed that the impossible objects were real. And even if only one of the discovered galaxies had turned out to be real, this would have been tantamount to a dramatic upheaval in current cosmology. This is because, in order to explain the mere existence of these structures, the density of matter in the early universe would have had to be up to five times greater than previously assumed. The alternative explanation is that the galaxies grew in a way that is completely unknown to us. Either way, our previous theories about the evolution of the cosmos are being seriously challenged. But how do you deal with a discovery that simply cannot be explained? Well, first of all, you add it to the list of other impossible web discoveries, because the universe breakers were just the beginning. Since then, Webb has detected many more structures that, according to our cosmological understanding, should not exist at all. The most recent example was at the end of May when the telescope found a precocious sister to the Milky Way, which was, however, already 10 times more massive than our home galaxy is today. Is the Big Bang Theory still tenable? All in all, Webb's puzzling discoveries are leading to growing doubts about the standard model of cosmology and prompting researchers to look for alternatives to the seemingly well-established idea of the Big Bang. The competing hypotheses are as numerous as they are bizarre. Do we really live inside a black hole? Is our universe just a tiny link in an infinite chain of universes? Or is the universe ultimately nothing more than a simulation? Well, in principle, even in a cosmic context, everything comes to an end at some point, and a theory that deals with the finale of the universe goes by the name of the Big Crunch. It states that one day, under the influence of gravitational force, the cosmos will collapse and experience a kind of reverse Big Bang. Where this exciting hypothesis is taken a step further, the Big Bang ultimately becomes a big bounce. In other words, the universe has always been going through a fixed cycle, with the end of one always marking the beginning of a new universe. According to this Big Bounce theory, our cosmic world will also collapse at some point, paving the way for a subsequent universe. No less astonishing is the theory put forward in particular 
by Nikodem Poplowski of the University of New Haven. It could actually be that we are in fact inside a black hole. More precisely, the future cosmos initially existed in the form of a tiny primordial seed. Once the point was reached where the matter at the heart of the gravitational monster could no longer be compressed, the seed, weighing tens of billions of solar masses, burst open, setting the universe in motion. But as exciting as the various alternatives to the Big Bang may be, we should not forget that they are still accompanied by fundamental questions. For what actually happened before? And was there even a before? If not, how can something arise from literally nothing? All these questions go beyond the limits of human imagination, and whether they will ever receive a clear answer is still written in the proverbial stars. However, the subscribe button is clearly visible below our video. Just click the thumbs up and then subscribe to stay up to date from now on. We'll see you soon.